Here we are at our chapter one, target 5a. We're asked to find the distance between the two points. Uh, before we actually go ahead and begin by trying to find any distances, what we'll go ahead and do is first label these points. Uh, so when we look at this first point, this P1, we do notice that it is at 1, 5. And this P2 happens to be at 8, 9. So again, with all of these distance uh, problems, we're always going to go ahead and first maybe label them. Next, we have to go ahead and dig out our distance formula. And the distance formula is d is equal to the square root of our x2 minus our x1 squared plus our y2 minus our y1 that's being squared. And again, from class, really, this whole thing is just a fancy way of saying the Pythagorean theorem because if we had some triangle right here, essentially, we are just finding that hypotenuse. So this, this is really a right triangle um, with you know an A, a B, and really a C where we're just using a fancy way of saying the uh, Pythagorean theorem. Next, what we have to go ahead and do is actually label which one is our x1 and which one is our, uh, I'm sorry, our x1, y1, and which one is our x2, y2. Now here you have choices. Um, it doesn't matter just as long as you are consistent within the actual formula that we're gonna use. Uh, typically I like to try and make my bigger numbers, so like eight, nine, my uh, x2, y2, and my smaller ones, x1, y1. And we're gonna see why in a moment. So we'll go ahead and call this one x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. But again, it does not matter uh, which one you choose. You'll still get, as long as you do all the math correctly, you'll still get the same answer. So our d is equal to the square root of our x2 is eight, minus our x1, there he is, one, squared plus our y2 comes out to 9 minus our y1 here he is 5 and again this is also being squared so our distance is equal to the square root of 8 minus 1 comes out to be 7 squared plus 9 minus 5 comes out to be 4 squared Distance is equal to seven squared is 49, plus four squared gives us 16. And when we combine these two, we end up then with the distance equaling the square root of 65. Now, if you were to punch that into your calculator, you would end up then with about 8.06. So for me, I would take either one of these two answers. Again, though, that is our chapter one target, 5A.